What's up guys, this is Sancho West, and this is a special video, and before we get into the, the, the whole bulk of this whole entire video, I want to thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers, and we will have a special video celebrating 100,000 subscribers for this community, but I feel like this video had to be made, and this video is much more important, because I really do believe that there is a problem with YouTube gaming currently. And this video is based, is a reflection on the tweet that I made about six days ago. So later on in that night after I made that tweet stating that YouTube gaming is essentially the current system is not allowing new creators to grow and it's essentially suffocating a lot of the streamers and people who are creating original content on their platform and that YouTube needs to do something about it. So I made that tweet. The video that you're about to see is a highlight video for my twitch.tv slash Sancho West. When I was playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4, I went on this rant that kind of broke everything down and kind of gave some backstory to why I believe that's happening. And get, also give what YouTube could do to remedy that temporarily, to put a band-aid on this big problem that's happening now. So here's the postscript part of the entire thing. So after that day, a day later, the global head of gaming from YouTube responded back to some of the tweets that I've been making. Because when I made that tweet, a lot of YouTubers who are streamers as well, YouTube streamers came out of the woodwork and explained their frustration. So not only that, the head of the global, uh, the global head of gaming stepped up to the plate for YouTube and explained some of the things that were happening. Now, the bottom line is I understand that YouTube is going to do their best and I believe that YouTube will find a solution. In fact, at the very end of the conversation, he stated that they will and that they're currently working on a couple of programs. One of them was called Copycat that is currently being used for the video side of things for the video uploads. What Copycat does is that essentially it scours the YouTube for it and that the content creator could kind of just simply claim other like if someone had a 20% of the video is from an example ninja's video he could go in and claim that 20% and that they're going to soon allow uh, live streams to have this system and all that's in the works but what I'm saying is the current state now is not good and I understand as a creator and as someone that's been working in the business understanding like what is going on so this whole video that whole video is gonna explain that and I just wanted to add this this little beginning to it to let you know that you know I understand that it's hard and I understand that there's so many reasons for YouTube and I understand that there's seven years and I'll go into that in the thing that I know that seven years of content uploaded but I know there's a better way so enjoy this video if you are a youtuber or a content creator on this platform or streamer out there comment down below let us let me know what's going on and maybe I'll make a follow-up video because I know it's just there's has to be a better way so enjoy the highlight video again I believe YouTube's gonna get it right and I'm glad that they're taking steps um, but it has to be done and there has to be a temporary fix to this problem because if not a lot of great content creators will get burned out and a lot of great content creators out there who are making awesome original content will not be heard and will not grow thank you guys so much and again we will celebrate a hundred thousand hundred thousand subscribers very soon enjoy the video so YouTube YouTube's algorithm right like what YouTube's algorithms doing is well let me just make my point before I move on so what YouTube algorithm is doing is it's just a machine right it doesn't know what it's doing so the way Fortnite the way the machine works is that it's obviously favoring live content first now what's happening is people are replaying summer skirmish to fall skirmish and those are being favored higher than people who are streaming just regular Fortnite. So if I was a streamer on YouTube and I wanna stream my Fortnite and I'm trying to stream, I'm gonna be shoved down the list that's not only with live streams of the replay of the skirmish, but of videos on demand, you know, VODs or the created content as well as other streamers. So the problem is if I'm trying to grow on YouTube, so if I fire up my stream and I wanna play Fortnite I won't be on the list and then you add to it that subscribers are not getting notifications and then you add to it that there's people doing the summer skirmish re fall replay 
and then you add to it people stealing other streamers content via clip gathering right in those video on demand so now you're getting shoved further and further down so you have to compete with people on twitch uh, people who are taking twitch clips of ninja uh, you know saying like his thoughts on a new skin or like a random argument that happened between or like some kind of real re like conversation you're dealing with that person who takes that two minute clip adds 10 minutes to it adds add 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 to it and, and then because it's getting add 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 to it and then the watch time is going extremely high it's getting pushed up the algorithms recommending these videos for you so if you're someone making videos on demand your content that you come up with that you created yourself will not get pushed up or not get favored because youtube is not recommending those unless you have a tremendous surge from your community or something something viral happened from a, somewhere else to shove you into like up that list and that's the major thing that's pro that's happening and what's you know not only you have to compete with ninjas and hd distortion and all those uh you know people that are actually uh you know putting their stream out and they're they're doing it themselves so all that is happening right and so if you're just starting off you got to fight through all of that and the thing with twitch and i'm not saying it because i'm on twitch but the thing with twitch that works is that it doesn't do anything based on how many uh, it doesn't do any kind of algorithm manipulation. It's solely based on how many viewers you have, period. Now, there's people out there that could do view botting. They could do all that kind of stuff, but people eventually see through that. But it's just based on how many viewers you have, and that's how high you get shoved up on the list. It's not a perfect thing. They should definitely separate it by who's streaming, uh, what platform. So it should say PC playstation xbox nintendo or in this example so i'm one a uh, playstation player and i want to see someone else playing fortnite and playstation i shouldn't have to scroll all the way down and look at all the the tags and maybe someone put that they're playing on playstation or it shouldn't it shouldn't have to be jumbled up it should be set like most views on pc most views on ps4 most views on xbox right viewers now there is the front page but i can tell you the fact that i've been using twitch for years i rarely go to the front page i only just go to who i follow i never see the front page but it definitely does help introduce a streamer to new communities for people who do the do the front page so that's what's happening in streaming right and then you're hearing about youtubers who's who make who stream on YouTube and then make me video content they're not they're losing subs and viewers because it's there's something cross weird wiring that's canceling something out so the more they stream the less their video on demand content gets noticed and so what they're doing now is you're seeing these YouTube streamers who are tired of dealing with the clickbaiting tired of dealing with the replaying tired of dealing with these clip gatherers and tired of dealing with people who are just staring at a cube for hours right that's their stream they're going to twitch they're going to mixture they're going to facebook gaming because they're trying to grow community and that is the the big the the big thing that it's a bummer about youtube and in my mind i think it's really hard to grow on youtube because when people think of youtube they don't think of gaming streaming li like video games right they think of creative content there's always going to be an, an x factor that an outlier to what's happening beyond the norm and that's going to be nick right i like streaming on twitch because the gaming culture is about twitch as a community you could host you could raid you could say all right we're gonna go check out one shot girl we're gonna go uh raid somebody else that's pretty cool that I, in the community like that 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 is built in and there's a lot of lot of good things that it, that is happening on the twitch side of things and i just I want YouTube to be good because there's a lot of people making a living there. So many careers were built on YouTube and I just want YouTube to be good. And, and I want those streamers to be happy. And what I'm hearing is a lot of streamers are not happy on YouTube. And I see, and I see why they're not happy because again, I used to work for a company that, that we, that's what we do. We all focused on YouTube, right? So it, it's just, it's just something that.
it just needs to change it really does need to change and my suggestion you know maybe someone on youtube goes okay we're gonna highlight these 10 fortnite streamers this week and that way those 10 and they could be youtube partners whatever and those way those 10 streamers are always promoted when someone types in fortnite boom they're right there on that top search bar like a, a strip across right i think it'd be a great way to revitalize that community